Hi everyone! Earlier today, NASA held a series of mission briefings to preview the upcoming Demo 2 mission to the International Space Station. Because the live stream was quite long, about 6 hours, and because here in New Zealand I had to actually wake up before 3 am to watch it, I thought why not to make a cut down video for all of you guys so you'll not miss the important stuff from this event. So without further ado, of course, it's great to be with everybody on this uh, really exciting day. As a matter of fact, just yesterday, we announced that we have a new human landing system that's going to take us all the way to the moon. And of course, uh, we are going to launch American astronauts on American rockets from American soil. This is a high priority mission for the United States of America. This is a new generation, a new era in human spaceflight. NASA has an ability to be a customer in a very robust commercial marketplace in low Earth orbit. Uh, SpaceX has been an amazing partner of NASA now for many years, soon uh, providing crew, NASA astronauts, to the International Space Station. Um, and as we announced yesterday with the human landing system, um, we're very hopeful that, that SpaceX will be taking our astronauts all the way to the moon in the not too distant future. So this is a very exciting time. The International Space Station is a critical capability for the United States of America. Having access to it is also critical, and we are moving forward very rapidly with this program um, that is so important uh, to our nation and, in fact, to the entire world. I want to make it clear that this is one of many exciting and hard days that we have in front of us, and Gwen's team and my team are diligently working on getting the vehicles ready, making sure we are ready to safely fly Bob and Doug up to the International Space Station, serve as a lifeboat, and return them to their families. Just yesterday, we had an all-day meeting doing our stage operational readiness review for the SpaceX Demo 2 launch, and I'm very pleased to announce we passed that review successfully and moving on to our uh, subsequent milestones culminating in a flight readiness review and launch readiness reviews in the very near future. Good morning, everybody. I've got thousands of SpaceX employees who are focused on this mission. Uh, we have been to the International Space Station 21 times. We hope that that experience ensures, helps us to ensure that uh, this next flight to the International Space Station is uh, even more spectacular uh, and productive. As I mentioned, there is still work to do. I wanted to show uh, a video of one of the critical tests. It's called the uh, in-flight abort test. Falcon 9 is on startup. Dragon is in countdown. FTS is armed. Go for launch. Three, two, one, zero. Ignition. Lift off. Simplify. Aim high. Go Falcon. Go Dragon. Vehicle is pitching down range. Stage one propulsion nominal. Falcon power at telemetry nominal. Miko, Dragon launch escape initiated. Trickle firings are looking good. Stage one, toggle down. I see uh, 10 meters per second, horizontal. So Demo 2 is, uh, as I mentioned, just a few weeks away. We are also working on the next vehicle to go to the International Space Station, and that will be the Crew-1 mission. I've got uh, just a couple of photos of the crew training in the Crew-1 Dragon, as well as the Crew-1 Dragon there in the final integration area. We should be shipping that vehicle in the next few months and prepping for the first operational mission. Uh, but this is a test mission. We're doing this to ring out systems, to demonstrate the systems during ascent on orbit at station and during descent with actual crew. Very exciting, very exciting time. 
So I know our teams have been negotiating on the next Soyuz launch, which would be in October. We want the relationship um, in space exploration to remain strong. We see a day when Russian cosmonauts can launch on American rockets and American astronauts can launch on Russian rockets. Remember, um, half of the International Space Station is Russian. And if we're going to make sure that we have continual access to it and that they have continual access to it, um, then we're going to need to be willing to launch on each other's vehicles. Um, what we're trying to do now is just negotiate on price. Um, and then once we have our own launch capability, uh, we can we can negotiate for um, non-exchange of fund kind of uh, capabilities. We are just about out of time, but we'll take one more question. Uh, let's go to Irene Klotz from Aviation Week. Jim mentioned in his opening remarks your win on the HLS. Congratulations. So I hope this isn't too off topic, but can you tell us how the infusion of $135 million is going to impact the timing and the development of Starship. Yeah, the work that we'll be doing with NASA during this early phase is not going to impact, uh, at least from a timing perspective, the work that we're doing on Starship. Uh, in fact, we crafted our bid carefully to ensure that uh, we're working closely with NASA to understand what ultimate requirements are for human spaceflight on a vehicle like Starship. And then we will work to, to roll those things in uh, as we move forward with the vehicle. NASA has been working with SpaceX uh, on the Starship now for um, a, a good while, ahead of the ahead of the contract, as a matter of fact, um, from a technical perspective, but uh, also uh, with a with a tipping point contract where we invested um, in SpaceX to help them figure out how do we do in space transfers of of fuel, uh, specifically liquid oxygen and liquid hydrogen and, and other capabilities. So NASA has been um, investing in the Starship ahead of this. We're moving forward in the in the same way that we were before, and now there's there's resources to uh, to maybe even move faster. The other thing I think is important is just to understand the the historic nature of this flight. We think about uh, Mercury, Gemini, Apollo, and then Space Shuttle. Those are really four times in history when we have put humans on brand new spacecraft. And now we're doing it for a fifth time. And that's just the United States. If you look globally, this will be the ninth time in history when we put humans on a brand new spacecraft. So this is a big day for NASA. It's a big day for SpaceX. This is an important mission for the United States of America. And in fact, it's an important mission for the world. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please consider subscribing to this new channel. You can also watch my previous video. It's about spacesuit for Venus and it's a little bit longer. So grab some popcorn, I guess. My second video will be out soon. The script is pretty much done. So in the meantime, have a good one. Bye everyone.